Hello, Christian Juris here, Rational Acoustics lead Formula One race driver steering wheel programmer. Uh, I'm going to show you using uh, the Smart I.O. with V7DI combination here. Uh, so now my computer is looking for I.O.s available for use with uh, Smart V7. It's going to find the DI is connected, uh, the I.O. sorry, is connected and will default to that as it has done such. Uh, so, uh, measurement one and two, again, they're, def they're uh, the transfer function measurement and reference channels. I have a microphone connected into input one, and my signal generator is using the Smart I.O. as a device with uh, output one going to the system and output two going uh, back into uh, the I.O. into input two. Uh, so that's a generator loopback. Uh, again, I could change the friendly names of the inputs. Um, as I did with uh, the Octa Capture, uh, and I think I'll go ahead and do that just so I, uh, I'll know. So we'll go to the uh, the Smart IOs audio device options. Input one is mic, and input two is reference or the generator. Uh, you know, just for ease, I'll uh, just name this measurement. Okay. Okay. So we have mesh and ref. Uh, now, uh, so uh, again, upon launch, it, it automatically defaulted the I/O. So, uh, assuming that you have your cabling and everything connected correctly, all you need to do is launch DI with the Smart I/O connected, uh, and you're ready to make measurements, um, just as you would with any other input device, as long as you have measurement uh, channels one and two uh, as the measurement and reference in your I/O. Uh, so let's uh, let's go through and I'll show you how to calibrate a microphone with the uh, Smart I/O. The cool thing about the Smart I/O is that once you have a microphone input calibrated, you can change the gain here on the interface and uh, it'll maintain calibration. There'll be a slight lag between uh, the mathematical conversion, but uh, regardless, you'll uh, you can change gain without having to take on a calibrator. So uh, we're going to calibrate the uh, measurement input channel. Um, I know that the sensitivity of this microphone happens to be 6.9 millivolts per pascal. Uh, we'll enter that and we'll save the mic as uh, the M30 that I've connected. And now uh, that, as long as I select that microphone with input one of the Smart I/O, will be calibrated for SVL. So I'm going to apply, OK, OK. So now here is the measurement signal of the dual broadband meter. I'm going to change this to dBSPA. And here we are, calibrated for SPL. Uh, just the ambient noise in my room, my speaking voice is coming in at about, uh, you know, between 59 and 61 uh, dB SPA. Uh, I can turn on the pink noise, and we'll see uh, at at what level we'll be measuring here. So it's on. So we're measuring at 87 or so. Uh, and I'll change the gain on the microphone input to demonstrate that the SPL will, will recalculate. So back to 87, turn that to work. Back to 87. So you can see that the, the calibration for the input channel maintains regardless of where you have the gain set. Uh, so let's uh, let's just go ahead and, and we'll we'll make a quick transfer function measurement uh, with the I/O. So I'll turn on the. And there we have it, making a measurement with the Smart I.O.